Hey guys, Denora here with Denora TV. I wanted to do a quick review of the Nature's Little Squeeze reusable pouches. I love these. Granted, I've only been using them for a couple weeks, but they have been fabulous already. They have a double Ziploc slide at the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see that there. And it gives a really secure seal. Nothing has ever come out in the entire time that we've been using them. And they're just like the ones that you buy in the store, except you are filling them with the food of your choice. My daughter loves pouches. They're a wonderful, easy go-to. And this way I can put in what I know that she loves. Tonight we're gonna make a spinach, avocado, sweet potato with a little banana and a little applesauce. Blend it up in the blender that you can see behind me here. And we're gonna fill the pouches. So again, nature's little squeeze. I'm in love with these. I have not tried any other ones yet, but for now, these are great. Another huge bonus with these is if you lose the cap, you can always use a cap from another one that you've bought in the store. So the store-bought caps fit perfectly on these. <laughs> Clearly, we've already lost a couple. The dog has chewed a couple. And uh, I think Baby threw some. I don't know where they went. I don't know. I don't know what happens. What happens to socks? I don't know. Where do they all go? We're gonna make our mix. So, I blended it up, and I'm just gonna show you how I prepare to fill the nature's little squeeze. I put it in a cup. Really simple. <laughs> and then you open the bottom. I like to use a tablespoon. Probably have one of these lying around your house. Scoop and fill, and that is it. I'll show you what the mixture looks like. You see that there? Yeah. Yummy. Nice and bright green. It actually tastes really good. During the blending process, I add a little bit of water just to kind of get things going. I don't think I've figured out how to layer my vegetables in there correctly. Give me a minute. She's trying to defend the home, mostly from nothing. Anyways, where was I? One thing I have discovered though is don't overfill your pouch. The first couple times I overfilled because the pouch swells and I'm thinking, oh my God, it'll never end. It does because once you start squeezing, all the food comes out the end and it's not so pleasant. Don't overfill. Uh, other than that, I think uh, I'm just gonna fill them and then show you the finished product. <laughs> See you in a second. <laughs> so this is who I'm making the pouches for. I was able to produce four pouches from that mix. Now I could have produced more, but I can't find the other pouches. When you buy these, they come in a pack of six. So that means there are two missing. I don't, I don't know where they could possibly be, but they're not in the kitchen. So maybe the car, diaper bag, I don't know. Either way, I could have made five pouches from the amount that I, that I mixed up there. You want one now? Here you go. Let's see, do you approve? That's my nose, and that's that's the recipe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll see you guys later. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. I'll get back to everyone. Um, 
Yeah. Huh? Oh, no, you can't have all of them. You just focus on one at a time. We're, we're working on that. We're working on that. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll see you later. You say bye-bye? No, she's eating. Why would she? We'll see you later, guys.